In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really awesome animated gradient background inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a new sequence created, we can just first begin by going into the new item button in the bottom left of Premiere that is in the project tab. Then we'll go new black video. Press OK and drag that onto your video. Now we want to extend the duration of this to the duration of the effect. So if you want a two minute gradient background, then just drag that out to two minutes. Now we're going to go to effects and search for four color gradient. Although if you just type the number four, scroll down to generate, that will be there. Now we'll go to the very beginning and we are going to change these colors. So we are just going to go to color one, which is currently yellow and we'll change this to, let's go for a nice purple. So we'll go OK on this. Then we'll go to color two and we'll make this a slightly different variation of that color. So we'll go for a blue. Then color three will be similar, but again, different. So we'll go for a nice dark purple. And then color four, we're going to go for a bit more of a red. So somewhere around here. Now, what we're trying to do here is to get a nice soft gradient. And in order to get that gradient effect, we need different shades of a similar color. So rather than having four bright colors, I've got one bright color, one dark color and two in between. But they're all within that blue, purple, red color space. Now we'll go to blend and we're just going to increase this just to blend those all together until we end up with this. So this is our nice gradient. Now this option makes all the difference. This is where we start and then by just pulling up this slider, you can see it really helps to bring those together and soften that off. Now from here, make sure you're at the very beginning and create a brand new keyframe on point 1, color 1, point 2, color 2, point 3, color 3, point 4, color 4. Now we're just going to go to 5 or 10 seconds in, completely up to you. If you want it to be a slower animation, then just increase the duration. If you want it to be a bit quicker, then just shorten that. So I'm going to go for a bit of a quicker animation and go for five. From here, you want to select the four color gradient and these points will appear. And these are our points. So we're just going to move these to different spaces within that sequence. And then we're going to shift those colors. So go to color one and we'll make this a dark purple. Then we'll go to color two. And we're going to shift this a little bit more towards a pinks or maybe the reds. So I'm going to turn this pink. I'm going to add a nice orange into this one just to create a little bit of separation. And then we'll make this one a bit darker as well. In fact, no, we'll make that one a bit lighter. So we'll pull that one towards the whites. There we go. Now, when we go back to the beginning and we play this back, you'll notice this has now created this nice gradient animation. The color's changing and we've also got movement within the animation. So to create a loop, you can just copy those keyframes. So select all of those. We'll go Command C, move over to the 10 second mark and we'll go Command V. Now Command is the Mac shortcut. If you're on Windows, that would be Control. So Control and C, Control and V, or Mac is Command and C, Command and V. And then it's going to copy and paste. Just keep doing this process over and over again until you fill up the entire duration of the project with those keyframes. So there we go. I've got two minutes worth of animation and that is just going to loop now for those two minutes. So this is the point where I would normally leave you and say you've done the animated gradient background. Great job. Let's go to the next tutorial. But this is where this gradient tutorial stands out. So we're going to actually copy this and do some animation here. So we're going to copy this black video. We'll go Command C and Command V or Control C, Control V like I've just explained. Drag that onto video two. And then from there, we're just going to search for change color. So that should be an obsolete. It is obsolete, but don't worry about that. It should still work. Then we're just going to select any one of these colors. It doesn't really matter so much. And we can just increase the matching tolerance. And now if you slide the hue transform slider, you can see that's actually going to change the color of this. And because we increase the matching tolerance all the way up, you can also increase the matching softness. You can see it's going to change the color of the entire video. Alternatively, though, you can see it's getting a little bit pixelated up here. You can see some banding rather than in change color. You could go into Lumetri, drag Lumetri onto black video. And in there, you can use the basic correction to adjust the temperature and do it that way. As you can see, it looks a lot cleaner. Alternatively, you can go down to the color wheels and you can make a change. 
But basically what we are doing here is we are trying to just change the color of this entire gradient animation rather than going into all of these points and making a change. It's just quicker to change everything in one go. So from here, you would just want to zoom out. So let's go to 50%, select video two. So this is the copied new gradient. We'll go to opacity, select the free draw bezier tool, and we are just going to draw a line down the middle. Now you can make a straight line like this, or if you hold onto the left button on your mouse and then drag, you can see you can create a curve. So we could do that for both points. So if we select up here, drag to the right, that's going to create a curved point. We'll do the same for the second point. Now you can see we can actually create this curved point. And this is just going to make for a much more interesting effect rather than just that straight line. Then once you've done that curved edge, you just want to just complete that off. So you just want to create a mask all the way around the right side of the frame and then feel free to make any further changes if you wanted to. And then once you've done that, you'll see this is what we end up with. Now from here, I'm just going to make a copy of black video again. So command C, command V. This is the masked layer. Drag that onto video layer three, then on video layer two, we're just going to increase the mask feather. We'll delete the four color gradients. We'll delete Lumetri color. And as you can see, we've got that black video back. So if I turn off three, you can see we've just got this black video. And this is just creating a nice drop shadow effect here. Now, as you notice, this looks a little bit soft. And that is because if we go onto video layer three, you can see the mask feather is set to 10. So if we pull that down to zero, that's just going to sharpen that up. So now we've got to this point where we've got this effect. You can actually go back into video layer three, go into Lumetri and you can make some adjustments. So you can see this is exactly the same with no effects. And this does look really cool, to be honest. Now I'm just going to set my temperature to 30 because I quite like the look of this. And then from there, we just need to animate this line because at the moment we've just got this stiff line and it's not really doing anything. <clears throat> we want this to sort of flow around and almost look like water or a bubble. So we'll go to the very beginning. We're going to go into the mask and we're going to create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Then we're going to move over to around the 10 second mark or maybe the five second mark. Again, depends on how quick you want this to animate. Then we're just going to select mask path. And we're going to zoom back out to 50% and then feel free to move those points around. So this is completely up to you. Whatever you want to do here is completely fine. But as you can see, this is what we want to go for. We want this nice, subtle animation. Now from there, you just want to copy both of those keyframes that we just created and paste them back in. Just keep repeating this process again so that this is on a nice loop. But once you've done that, you just want to copy the opacity. So select opacity, command C. We'll go to the black video underneath. We're going to remove that mask and we're just going to go Command V or Control V. So it's just pasted that mask on. By doing that, though, you'll notice the drop shadow effect has disappeared, and that is because it has pulled the mask feather down to zero. So if we just pull that all the way back up again, you'll see that drop shadow effect is back. And that's essentially it. Now, you could just keep going and keep copying new layers on. So if I was to do that, then I would just copy video three, paste that on. I would delete all of these masks. I would create a new mask like this. As you can see, then you can go into your Lumetri. You can make some changes. Again, you could add the drop shadow back in, but essentially you could just keep building on top of this, adding new different layers, and that's going to make this look really interesting. But as you'll see, we started with quite a basic four color gradient animation. And just by stacking on a few different levels, we've ended up with this really interesting gradient animation. But there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. And if you found this useful, then please do consider checking out these videos just up here. See you there.